Hey guys, how you doing? This is Easy Breezy and today I'm finally answering the most frequently asked question I get, especially from my client. How do I put on my own frontal? I know you guys are going on vacation in two days, you do not have time to make it to the salon, and you need to put on your own wig. In this video, I'm gonna show you as if I'm looking in a mirror with you at your house, and we're gonna put our lace front on together, okay? I got you. Okay, here's our full lace wig. I know it looks crazy and dingy like we can't revive it, but I promise you guys we can. And it has a lot of glue and makeup on it, but I'm gonna teach you guys how to get it off without ruining the lace. Okay, I have my black carbon shampoo. It's just my favorite shampoo. Anyone should be fine. Put it on there, get it on the full hairline. And we're doing this motion. We're pushing it out and we're not rubbing it in because that will definitely rip your lace. Okay, we have our towel. I'm gonna take my thumb, kind of tuck it under and use that to push the glue from the lace. And I'm using force with this. It's not gonna come out too easy. I'll give y'all a closer look on how I'm doing this. Okay, my wig is almost clean. Well, actually, it's pretty nice now. Now I can shampoo the whole thing. See you in a minute. Now I have my Peppermint Cleanser Conditioner by Hair Art by Dominique. It's amazing and it smells so good. So I'm just gonna put this on here and comb it through. Now I'll take my fine tooth comb and just comb out the rest of the glue that's stuck in the hair. Hey, okay, time for plucking. So, I don't pluck my wigs every single time I do a maintenance, but this time I just felt like I wanted it to be really fleeky. <laughs> so, I'm just taking it back to the drawing boards and plucking a little bit more, making the hairline a little more natural. Okay, when I'm done, I'm gonna put it on my palm because whatever it looks like on my skin is exactly how it's gonna look on my face. And I wanna make sure it's exactly how I want it to look in photos. Nice. Okay, now that our wig is clean and dry, I'm gonna put a little bit of Pump It Up spritz on the inside of the lace and it kinda makes it stick better. Don't ask me why. <laughs> and we're just gonna let this sit to the side. Now time to cleanse the installation area. I'm using Seabreeze, never, never, ever alcohol to cleanse my skin. Now don't laugh at my little, <laughs> my little line. I know it looks like I have a mask on right now. Black castor oil, I'm gonna use this to moisturize my hair. Never ever forget to moisturize your hair under your wigs. And to make the wig stick better, spritz. Now before I put on my wig, I'm gonna glue on the cap. And now we're gonna let this dry until it turns completely clear. Am I retarded? Yes, I am. <laughs> now we're gonna glue the cap on. Okay, let's swing this baby on. Now I'm gonna try to fit it. And we're gonna use an eyeliner pencil just to trace the shape. And I'm not tracing where exactly I'm gonna put this lace. I'm just tracing so I know how much space I have to work with when I lay my glue and we have a lot of space to work with. Now, the way I'm laying this glue down, I always start with the Widow's Peak first. 
Then I do the outside, so I kind of make like a curvy M type of shape. Then from that point, I'm just staying away from my edges, honey, cause honey, I ain't got time. <laughs> I don't have no edges to waste. I always stay about an inch or probably like a half an inch away from my hairline. Now we're gonna take our tweezers and spread it out. Now be careful not to spread too far back or you're gonna defeat the purpose of keeping the glue off your hairline. So if you have to kind of maneuver or spread down instead of spread back, then you can do that. Just make sure it's not on your hair. Now allow that to dry until it gets clear. Okay, now let's place this baby on. Be really careful because you kind of only have one try to get this right. <laughs> this glue dries really fast. Okay, now I'm gonna use my hand and really press the lace in the glue. Sometimes the hair gets caught in the glue, so I definitely want to get my comb and comb all that out before it dries. Okay, this is the part that may stump you guys, but I promise you it's really easy. Just cut the excess lace off. Then go back and clean up and try to get it as neat as possible. Okay, now I'm gonna use some more cotton and erase this line. Okay, now this is something that I'm not used to doing, but I recently started using makeup on my lace and I actually love it. So I'm just gonna make sure that matches my skin and then go ahead and dab the lace. Now I will warn you guys, please do not use a lot of product because if you put too much on the lace, it's instantly gonna look clumpy and cakey. So make sure it's a minimal amount of concealer and dab it out really, really thin. Now I'm just gonna fix my makeup so I can get ready for these pictures. I'm not gonna lie, I never did this part before, <laughs> but for some reason I feel like it's gonna work, so I'm just dabbing it with some powder. Now I have some powder and makeup on my hair, so just to get rid of it, I'm gonna put some foam on my hair and comb it through. Okay, now that it looks like I grew this out my scalp, I'm so excited and I love the makeup technique and I hope you guys liked it too. This is an 18 inch deep wave full lace wig from galaxygirlhair.com. And we do offer customization, so if you're scared to do it yourself, you can add it to your cart. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe.